Okay, Dr. Jamaya, I'm going to start. Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. I hope that everybody is ready yeah, to, uh, to join our uh, webinar sessions today. This webinar session is uh, organized by uh, software, the, the center, the research center for software technology and management, Faculty of Information Science and Technology, University Kebangsaan Malaysia. So today we are very proud to have uh, Dr. Sahala Asadi, who is going to uh, organize the webinar with you, with all the participants. Welcome to you, yeah. Welcome to all of you, and thank you for joining us. I hope you uh, can enjoy. Uh, this uh, webinar, yeah, get uh, new knowledge uh, uh, from uh, Dr. Sahala and uh, and enjoy the sessions uh, to the end of the sessions. So uh, before uh, we start uh, this webinar, before I pass over the sessions to uh, Dr. Sahala, oh by the way, my name is Dr. Jamaya Yahaya, eh? <laughs> if for those who do not know me, uh, I'm the chairperson for so Soft Times uh, Research Center in, in FTSM UKM. So I would like to introduce Dr. Sahla Asadi. Uh, uh, she will be the instructor for today. Eh? So Dr. Sahla Asadi is currently a senior lecturer in the Center of Software Technology and Management, Faculty of Information Science and Technology, University of Kebangsaan Malaysia. She previously worked as a postdoctoral fellow uh, at the Faculty of Computer Science and Information Technology, University Putra, Malaysia. She received her bachelor, a master degree and PhD degree in uh, Information Technology Management and Information System from University Technology, Malaysia in 2013 and 2017, respectively. She obtained the Best Postgraduate PhD Student Award in the Faculty of Computing in October 2017. She has published several articles in, in, in international top tier ranked journals and in international conferences. Her research interest lies in green information technology, big data, Internet of Things, individ, individual and organizational behavior, and information system management. She's also an active member of Association of Information System. So uh, that's uh, the background of Dr. Salah Asadi and she has uh, published uh, many articles from the uh, top uh, Q1, Q2 journals previously. And now she is very active in our faculty uh, in supporting uh, research and also publications. So I think uh, without any delay, I will pass over the sessions to, Mr., uh, to Dr. Salah. Uh, and then Dr. Salah will proceed with you. Uh, okay, Dr. Salah, is that okay with you? Yes, sir. Okay. So, enjoy everyone. So, uh, I'll, I'll leave the session to Dr. Salah. Okay, Thank bye. Assalamualaikum. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming and join this session. I uh, really appreciate for our chair, uh, dear Associate Prof. Uh, Jawaya and also for the organizer, organizer of this session from the Dean of the Faculty, Deputy Dean and Chairperson and all the organizer. Uh, no need I, I introduce myself. Uh, this is Dr. Shahla. I'm working in the uh, Softom in the UK, uh, UKM. I joined 2020 uh, in, the, uh, tech, uh, in the Center of Software Technology and Management. Faculty of Information Science and Technology. By today, I would like to, uh, to share with you how to publish in high impact journals. Okay. Why you want to publish? Uh, the most important thing is that why you want to publish? because the publication is the necessary step for the scientific research. And if you have planning for graduation, and also if you would like to develop your career, it is the vital and important thing that you should have a publication. And most of the university, if you are applying for a, a career, they hire the people, also uh, they have a publication, and this is one of the elements that, uh, that they compare the researchers. And beside of that, 
also you can enhance your knowledge and beside of that you can become well known scientists by your publication and uh, this is so important what you want to publish if you have your data if you have uh, your result and if you have uh, your methods i recommend you you go for the publication and we call it as a new and original result and sometimes if you don't have a data you know that the data collection it takes time sometimes i recommend you to go for review paper you go systematic literature review critical review and other kind of review uh, for in their your research area and uh, it's so important that you should know you cannot publish the outdated work the some work for example you uh, did in 2011 2010 now you want to go publish it it's better that you your publication in your publication and your paper should be up to date and uh, you cannot go for the duplication of the previous work that they did before and sometimes the editor not happy and they don't accept the unaccepted uh, conclusion and inaccurate uh, conclusion and therefore you should know the high quality scientists prefer most of the time comes from the high quality research and don't think that is it easy sometimes for the uh, some experienced researcher even they have a uh, several years of experience in the publication is not easy for them because they should meet the some uh, essential requirement before they submit the journal if they do the some mistake and the minor mistake uh, they ends up with the lower rank journals today i would like to share in this session how you can select a suitable journal the most of the time the authors and uh, uh, are asking this question which journal is suitable how can i find the appropriate journal and beside of that i would like to explain how you can write a good research article and at last i will say to you the process of publication from the initial that you are sending to the uh, to your journal and uh, you get the re revision from the journal you will receive the revision from the journal and from the last version uh, hope is acceptance or rejection i will tell you what's happening uh, inside of the this process of the publication there are several type of manuscript for example uh, as i said to you if you have your data and you have your uh, uh, substantial and significant uh, completed uh, of your research i recommend you you go for full article the full article it means that you have already your uh, methodology your data collection and you have your result and you have your analysis and the discussion and conclusion but sometimes uh, as i said it's so difficult that you have a uh, data and uh, some experimental work and you go for the full article in this stage especially for those that are, uh, that are in the early career research i recommend they go for the conference paper because this conference paper is for early or in progress research findings and it is shorter than the full article even some uh, uh, some conferences especially in our field in the information system uh, ais uh, uh, conferences such as uh, pasis mcs they are also interested for short papers and in progress research and they publishing in this kind of the conference and also the ranking if you want to rank uh, compare the ranking of this conference with the journal even they have a good ranking and uh, for the short communication or letters also if you have a uh, shorter i mean they're not uh, full of your data and this one is the much shorter than the full article and if you if you have a quick and early communication of the significant and original advances we also we recommend you to go for the short communication but most of the time uh, also i'm following this perspective if you have a uh, one uh, you are interested in the one uh, field or your subject of the research is better that you start with the re review paper with uh, for example systematic literature review 
uh, honestly, this one is the best way that you can understand and you can explore a lot of things uh, with uh, reading and, uh, and summarizing the previous studies uh, in the specific topic. And sometimes it's better that you uh, ask from the uh, experienced researcher and uh, or from your colleague and even from the your supervisor and you can ask him because uh, most of the time uh, some people that they are outside uh, of your uh, outside of your research they can understand uh, easily for example and clearly for example which one is the appropriate uh, for your manuscript uh, here are some elements that you can select uh, for the appropriate journal. One of them is the, what are the aim and scope of the journal? Before you want to submit to the journal, it's better that you read uh, the, um, the section regarding the, about the journal or aim and scope and uh, similar thing. And you can see uh, what is the aim of the, this journal. Uh, is your topic or your research is fit with the scope of the journal or no? And uh, most of the time, uh, some of the, uh, I can say common mistake that has happened for the author is that they don't choose the appropriate journal. They choose the unsuitable journal. That's why I recommend you go and read aim and scope of the journal. For example, some journal, as you know, some as, IEEE access and uh, plus one, they are, uh, they considered multidisciplinary approach and multidisciplinary paper, they accept it. But some journals, for example, I have experience on it, Journal of Kinear Production, it has their own aim and scope. You can just publish those articles that related to environmental, environmental system sustainability and this kind of thing. The second is that, has the journal published article that are similar to yours? What's that? It's better if you, after you uh, select uh, some few journals and you read aim and scope and you understood that it is fit for your, for your work, it's better that you publish five or six papers that recently published within five, uh, within five uh, last five years. So I recommend you to go and read those kind of the uh, those kind of the journals. Sorry, maybe my slide is not sure. Can anyone see my slide? Can you please tell me? I'm sorry for this problem. No problem. Again, we continue. Just I, I tell the fast. And uh, I say that today uh, our aim is how we can publish in high uh, impact journals. I talk about uh, why you want to publish. And uh, this is the simple question. And all of us, we need for our career uh, development, develop our career, and we want for graduation, if, uh, if we want to hire in university, and if the founder uh, are interested, for example, to hire you, they are also interested for those people that uh, they have a publication, because uh, they will understand that this uh, person have uh, something to tell about the research. They have an uh, important uh, activity in their research article. And uh, I said that it's important that you should have a new and original result uh, for uh, uh, or your method if you are going to the publication, if you are going to for the full manuscript, and you should have a data, you should have an analyze the data, and you should have a methodology part, and it's clear for everyone and all of you know about it. And the second one is the reviewer. Reviews or sum, uh, summarize of the particular subject. For example, uh, uh, at first it's difficult for you. You go and, for example, for the experimental research and you go for the data collection and collect the data, especially our field. For example, uh, uh, my field was in the uh, green information technolo technology. 
uh, and my respondent was the uh, FMM uh, was the uh, decision maker in, uh, decision makers in the FMM manufacturing. And who, those uh, who are in the in Malaysia, they know that the, it's so difficult that you go to the through the university and you collect your uh, data from the especially decision managers. That's why. I was so lucky. I uh, I uh, attended one webinar, uh, one the event, and uh, I meet the all the decision makers. They're not all, majority of them, around the 70, uh, 70 people there. Uh, I want to say that sometimes, if for you is difficult to go for the uh, original result or your data collection, I recommend you you go for the review or summarize your work. For example, as I told you, you can go for the critical review. We have some kind of the review paper. You can go for the systematic review. And uh, as I said, the editor not appreciate those work that uh, out of the date. And for example, you did some work, or you did some experimental research, you collected your data in 2011, 2020, and now uh, 2012, and now in 2020, you have planning to publish this work. No, you should update especially even your reference. You should be updated, not your data, even your difference and a lot of things. Because many, many things happen in the, uh, in the uh, scientific area. And uh, uh, they are not interested also for those uh, articles that duplicated and copy paste from the other researchers. And as I said to you, if you have planning to publish and you proceed to high quality journals, and is it, it needs the high quality research. And as I said, sometimes it's difficult even for those experiment, uh, experiment researchers that they have a, for we can get senior researcher and uh, even they have a lot of knowledge and they have a lot of experience how they can publish in top tier ranking journal, but sometimes they fail and they are going to lower tier ranked journal because they have uh, some requirement, we should meet those requirements if we want to success, uh, successfully publish in high impact journals. And the outline of the, this uh, session is that I want to say to you, uh, many of you may, may be familiar with that, how you can select appropriate journal. And there are some tips I will explain and how you can write a good research paper and the full research paper, uh, it consists of the which element and the, in the next ex, uh, slides, I will show you. And then I will explain about the process of the publication from the first until the last of the uh, process of the publication, what's happening when you submit your paper uh, to the specific journal. And as I say to you, uh, I don't want to repeat more about it. Uh, I talk about it. There are different type of manuscript. Uh, you have a full article, or we call it original article, and also you have a conference paper, you have a core short communication letter, and also you have a review papers or perspective. And as I say to you, sometimes if it's difficult for you to identify that uh, uh, which one is uh, you want to submit it, you can get advice from your supervisor, even from your colleague or from the, your uh, senior researcher and ask them and um, they will help you. And it will make you clear that how you want to submit the full article or you it's better that you submit conference paper or for the review paper. Uh, as I said to you, choosing the right journal and suitable journal is the most important thing for the publication. Honestly, if you have the good paper, perfect paper, but you don't choose the appropriate journal and you submit in the unsuitable journal, it will be, uh, they don't consider for the publication, they will reject it. And within two or three days, you will receive an email, thank you for your submission to our journal. But this one, most of the time they say that is not the, in our aim and scope of the journal. Okay, these are uh, the some elements that you should consider uh, when you are submitting to appropriate journal. First of all, what's that? You should read about the aim and scope of the journal. As I told you, in the web page of the journal, there is a, some part that uh, they call it about the journal or they call it about aim and scope. And sometimes the similar things, something like that. And uh, also, uh, if you think that your work is fit with that journal, you can send it to the journal. Okay. After you send it to the journal, you will see that 
do this journal publish some similar work in your research is better. I recommend you go through that journal if it is the, uh, I mean, in, in, the, in your field and don't do it five to six papers in the last five years and try to read that one. And you will see that, is there any similarity between your scope and quantity of your work and the previous article that they submitted? And this is one of the easiest way. And for example, the, uh, the one more thing is that uh, some journal, uh, I forgot to say, is specific. For example, uh, I, I mentioned to you uh, Journal of Clean Production. They are just uh, interested those topics that are related to green sustainability, environmental sustainability, and these kind of the topic. For example, if you have a, some uh, MCDM analysis, and for example, you are using the fuzzy rule or fuzzy systems, it's not good that you send it to this kind of the journal because they are not fit with the aim and scope of the journal. And some of them, another thing is that, what are the journal restrictions? You know that some kind of the journal, they have the restriction. What's the restriction? Uh, one of them is uh, for the word count. For example, uh, you have a 7,000 uh, words and your, your paper writing, you write it the paper and uh, it's counted to 7,000 words. And what the uh, journals interested to uh, those articles within uh, and limited for 4,000 words. That's why it, you need a major work. You have to do revise it again and try to reduce it. And because uh, the journal have this kind of restriction, and even sometimes for the payment, uh, and some journal they have a, a extra fee for those uh, uh, those kind of the articles that beyond the limit of the journal. And the last thing is, what is the journal impact factor? As you know, all of us interested to uh, publish in those kind of the journal that have a high impact factor. Why? Because the impact factor, it showed that this journal has high quality and also uh, yeah, has a reputation. That's why we are interested to go this kind of the journal. And this is the tip. Articles in your reference will likely lead you to the right journal. This is truly right. For example, you are working uh, in my field. I want to uh, say an example in my field. For example, I am working on the electric vehicles or the sustainability. And I'm going uh, to download many, uh, several relevant articles in my field, in my subject area. For example, I downloaded three articles and I will see the, each, each, uh, each article uh, in the target journal, which journal they targeted, which journal they published, okay? I am trying also to go through that journal and read the instruction and submit to the, that journal. And uh, for the selecting the appropriate journal, it's so important, as I said to you, to choose the target journal and you have a specific writing project. And sometimes it's good even you email to edit editor, editor of the journal and uh, you explain to them about your contribution of the, your work and uh, uh, convince them and maybe they will accept it and they will read your work and uh, they will uh, be sure they will respond to you because it's happened sometimes to me after you email to the editor, they will, uh, they will say that they are interested in this kind of work or no. And you can collect, as I told you, information about the journal and the sample paper. Some uh, appropriate journal and a very popular publisher for our research, maybe for the medical uh, research is different, for, but for our research is Elsevier, IEEE, Springer, Taylor & Francis, Sage, Willey and Emerald. These are uh, the most well-known publisher uh, especially in the, as I know, in the computer science and also in the information systems field. For example, here you will see that uh, the Elsevier had, uh, had uh, several journals and it has uh, millions uh, of the article they review per year and they ha have a lot of reviewer and even uh, they have a, a many editorial board and uh, many publisher uh, the, as you can see, 6.5 million author publisher and uh, 11 million article now available in this uh, 
publisher. That's why uh, for me, most of the time, I targeted to go to the Elsevier, one of the well-known and publisher. As I said to you, you can uh, ask uh, for, for help from your supervisor or from your senior because the, your supervisor is your, your co-author and uh, he, she, also she or he is the responsible uh, for your work. And uh, sometimes I know that, and I heard from my friend, they said, okay, it's good that we submitted uh, some manuscript to, uh, to more than two or five journals. No, because uh, as I know, for example, Elsevier, one of the publishers, Nowadays, they are integrated. It, uh, if, for example, you submit in the 10 journals, the database will show that before you submit uh, with other journals as well. That's why uh, it's not ethical way. It's better that you submit the one journal and it's better that you find the appropriate journal uh, that you submitted and uh, don't uh, do the uh, multiple submit the, in, the, uh, in the same time to other journal and the editor will understand and will find out. Uh, as I told you, this one is the reputation. Uh, look at your reference, review uh, recent publication in candidate journal. This one is the most of the time is help you and uh, uh, you will understand that uh, this journal, how they are interested, which kind of, the, which type of the articles. Uh, and before you go that uh, to the journal, there are uh, some elements you can uh, get help from them. For example, uh, these are the several ways to find the appropriate journal. Uh, we call it uh, the journal citation report, and you, uh, most of you know about it, or you, you can go uh, to, through the web of science. And uh, SGR or Escobos, uh, Zymago country and journal ranking. And here also uh, all the journal ranking, the rank of the journal, each index, and uh, is rank available here, and, and the country is available here. And the uh, Elsevier, uh, there is a journal finder. There is a journal finder system, and you can find from Elsevier. Even the Springer also has. Uh, based on my knowledge, the Springer also has his kind of the services. And uh, what's that? Let me explain one by one. For example, this is the one example I put it here. Uh, for example, I have several papers in this journal. This one is the good journal and uh, is the impact factor seven point uh, something. And here, if you read about that, you will understand. Uh, they say that the killer production is a concept that aims to preventing the production of the waste while increasing efficiency in the use of energy, waste, resource, and human capital. This kind of thing. This is the aim and scope of the journal. You will see in the web page of the journal. And another one is, uh, try inside journal citation report. If you go through the Web of Science uh, and can it's accessible access via the via the Web of Science, you go through the here and you can write the, uh, your name uh, your target journal. For me, for example, as an example, I put it Journal of the Clean Production here, and then I put a publication name. After I search it, it's bring the Journal of the Clean Production. Then you will see the information about this journal. For example, what's the language, what's the issue period, and uh, what's the category, the important part. For example, important part is about green, sustainable science, technology, and engineering, environment. And it's give you, for example, the publisher as well, and the, for example, in which country, and it say that this publisher is the Elsevier, and it have a ISSN that is specific and for the each journal, unique for each journal. And uh, sorry, and here it gives you the journal impact factor. For example, what is the impact of the this journal and about the ranking? For example, quarterly here is considered as a Q1 in the green sustainable science and technology. You will see and you will check the rank of the journal because most of the time, you know that they, they, each year they updated uh, this information. Maybe this year is considered as a Q1 and uh, later on, if they don't have, a, for example, good reputation, uh, they will decrease to Q2 or Q3. So it's better that you check it in the inside journal citation report. And for the second one, as I told you, this is a journal finder system that you can check the, uh, each journal is appropriate, that you can send it to that target journal. For example, uh, my work was investigating the, investigating the influence of green innovation on sustainable performance, a case on the Malaysian hotel industry. In the journal finder system, if you go through this link, it's open the page like this. You can enter your paper title here, 
and your paper abstract, and also your keyboard. If you put your keyboard and after, uh, and after that, uh, you will see that the journal finder will suggest you some appropriate journal. For example, they said for me that tourist management is the most appropriate. And the second one, they said that uh, journal of career production is, uh, is uh, more re relevant based on your, more related based on your uh, topic and uh, based on your uh, abstract. And, uh, and also I publish in this journal. Just this one as a sample, I put it there. Actually, before I sent the journal, I checked or even with your supervisor. And the keyboard also is so important. And it's determined whether your article is found or not. If we want to find the article, this simple and easiest way, what's that? The keywords. We search it in the Google Scholar. Based on the, our research topic, we choose the, some keywords and we find some relevant articles. And don't uh, forget, if you have a good keywords, your citation will increase as well. That's why it's so important that avoid making them too general or too narrow. Look, uh, and one of the way, as I told you, if you don't have experience anything, the one way and good, good way and the best way is that you follow the previous published article, what they did, which keyword they use. You can a little bit change it, and you can get an idea even for, for the writing the abstract keyword introduction. You will see that. Try to download top tier journals and they do the research paper published in the top tier ranking journal and the good journal. You will see, you, you will understand how they can write the journal in the proper way, why they are going to acceptance. Okay, why the journal are interested to this kind of uh, work? That's why it's so important. The most important thing is that read previews articles because good title, you know that, is come from what? Good title, if you go and search it on the Google, is good title comes from the good literature review. And the good literature review is come from where? It's come from good reading. You should read a lot if you want to uh, success in the, uh, your, in the publication. And uh, as you can see, uh, we, for the introduction, we have to convince the reader. And we should clear about it. Because you know, sometimes it's happened. When you read some introduction, okay, uh, they have introduction, they have a literature review, and they mix a lot of things together. You should separate it. You should know that. What want to address in introduction? The introduction, it is clear. A little bit you have a background. Then you should specify what is the issue. What is the issue in previous essay they didn't address? And you want to address it. And what is the existing solution that you have it? And which one is the best? And you should say that what is what was the gap in previous study? And you want to address it here. And what is the limitation? And you, what you want to achieve it? Most of the time, for example, uh, we are going to for, in my work, for example, I go for the contribution. Beside of the objective that I have it, I go try to convince the readers and first of all, convince the reviewer that, that I have a contribution. What is my contribution in this, intro, in this research paper? That's why I put it in the introduction. I mean that it is so general, then you make it so specific. And the, uh, uh, after the introduction, uh, as I said, the literature review, sometimes uh, they consider it with the introduction. They uh, say that uh, the end of the introduction, they write, write about literature review, but most of the time I'm trying to separate it about the previous study, previous work or literature review. And for the literature review, uh, before the, I go literature review, uh, I forgot to tell something. In the introduction, try to, uh, cite the, some relevant work related to your uh, paper. For example, uh, five or six uh, related works that you use it in your paper. And most important thing, one time I sent the uh, article to the one good journal uh, and they give a lot of comment they rejected because of the introduction. Why? They say that what is the new in your work? You references 2000, for example, 14. Now we are 2019. Definitely many researchers now they address this kind of issue. 
You are not the first person that you are doing this kind of thing. Okay, and the introduction in the, uh, the final slide, I will show you. And this is my, uh, I received the, one of the, uh, one of the also uh, comment from the reviewer. I did a big mistake. I said, this is the novel. Okay, please uh, don't forget. Don't overuse the expression like, for example, this is novel, this is the first time, this is the first ever. Avoid this kind of thing especially in the introduction part, because it doesn't have a good effect to the uh, reviewer. That's why I received one of the comments in the last of the, I mean, the, in the uh, next, next stage, I will show you uh, what they comment, they give it to me because of the justice com uh, comment novel. And the literature review also is important because you review the previous study for conducting this research paper. Is this so important that you have a brief summary about your paper that you are reading and you will have a, a, a list of finding and criti criticize it and don't put your op opinion because sometimes the reviewer and the editor, they are not interested that you put your opinion. You is better, uh, I mean, the inappropriate, I mean, the opinion from your side. Sometimes it's crit uh, criticized is good, but you should have a good justification for that one. And list your finding based on the, this literature review and uh, uh, look also for other literature review in your area of interest. And you should have, a, for example, the enough uh, sources for the literature review, uh, wide array of sources, and uh, also up to date it. Don't use that, uh, those uh, literature, those resources that uh, they are so outdated. And the methodology part. This is the one of the most important part also in the uh, research paper. Honestly, each part is important. You should be accurate and precisely write each part. For example, uh, in my work, I am, I am collecting the data uh, from the, for example, some individual or organization. I should clearly write about my method, which method I was used. For example, from where, what's your target sampling? Why you think this kind of sampling enough for you if you are doing the quantitative model? For example, in my work, I'm collecting data, for example, from the individual, for example, or from the organizational, you should convince the reader. Why this kind of the sample if 183? Why you think that 183 is enough? You should explain and justify about your methodology, your sampling technique, and everything, and how you uh, want to, uh, for example, how you collect the data and uh, your analyze the data. As I told you about the participant instrument, and the uh, reviewer should understood that your proposed methodology is suited for answering and covering your research question that you mentioned in the introduction. For example, if you, for example, I have some hypothesis, it's so important. I propose some methodology, I go through the some methodology that it can suit it for answering my research hypothesis and my research uh, question. For writing the results, is so important that we put the main finding. It's not good that we put a lot of things. Why? The most important thing. Because for the result, after we come up with the result, in the discussion part, we have to support it, our result. We, we have to support our main findings. And uh, Highlight finding that differ from the finding in previous publication. It's mean that, for example, if you have uh, some results and different from the others and previous publishers, you should highlight it. And uh, also result of the statistical analysis, you should put it. But the most uh, proper way is that you, for the illustration, you can use uh, the figures and tables and is the most efficient way to present your result. It's not good, for example, you put the long and boring table, but most of the time, if you put the some uh, figures is good, but be careful about the figures because 
uh, as I know, some figures, if you are using the color figures, it has some meaning, okay? You should carefully read, the, as I told you, the journal extraction, and you will see that the some colorful uh, uh, figures uh, also is restricted uh, by some journals because it has a meaning in some uh, fields. And as this guy said, in, uh, this time he said that one picture is worth a thousand words, and it's clear. Yeah, I agree too, because if you have a good figure and it's good, it, it can uh, present your work in the efficient way. And uh, please try to use some softwares and the uh, new softwares to, proposing your, uh, to preparing your figures and even for your paper, the resolution is so important. Don't put those kind of the work with the low quality of the figures. For example, if you want to write it, uh, to, you want to draw it, uh, the some figures or the some, uh, I don't know, the some tables or the some, some shape, there are a lot of software. You can use the VZU or you can use the IMAN, XMAN. There are a lot of software that they can assist you to preparing this kind of the figures. And discussion part. It is very important part as well in the research paper. You should uh, precisely and accurately write the discussion part because in this part, as I said to you, you have a chance to sell your data. Most of the articles are rejected due to discussion is weak. They didn't address very well the discussion part. For example, if you have some result, you should discuss this about it. For example, in my field, I am proposing one hypothesis. And in the results show that, for example, with the, some smart PLS uh, software, I analyzed it, I understood that the relation between X and Y is significant and positive. In the discussion part, you should explain it very well. Why you, sh you, sh you say that X and e Y has a positive relation? You should try to also uh, find it consistently with the previous work and inconsistently with the previous work. This your finding is consistent and in line with the previous finding? If yes, explain it. If not, why? You should also explain it here. That's why don't, don't for example, some of the... Uh, uh, some of the, um, I know that some of the people, they uh, hide it some result and they don't share it, okay? Try to use and the final and the main result and try to discuss it, discuss it very well in the discussion part. And don't propose a new idea here, a new aim in this part. Just discuss about the, your finding and uh, compare it, your finding with the previous result. And the conclusion, uh, is that uh, it is uh, not uh, so difficult, but it shows that uh, how you can conclude your work is not there. For example, don't summarize your abstract here, and uh, it's you should have a short, uh, you should have a clear conclusion, uh, and uh, the reviewer and readers they easily understand what is the uh, it's uh, difficult to judge the work and whether or not is merit publication in the journal. And don't repeat the abstract, as I told you, or don't, as I told you, don't uh, summarize the abstract in this part. And it's most of the time it's recommended that in the conclusion, you go for the future work. And I suggest, for example, for the future researcher to do this one. And also it's better that you have a, you, have, you mention your limitation in your study uh, for, the, uh, for the reviewer and the readers. And the reference also is important. I highly recommend you, you go for the EndNote and Mendeley software management tools. I use both of them, especially I use the Mendeley software for managing my article. Why? I downloaded all the related articles because you know that there are some uh, key uh, point in this software that you can read the paper, highlight the paper, tag the paper. Whenever you want, you can access easily for them. And this software manage, uh, reference management tool is very good. Why? You are going to proper way. You are arranging your reference. You are not doing the uh, manual. If you are doing the manual, manual, it's so difficult for you. If you want to update after the reviewer give you some comment, it's difficult for you to go and update, for example, the references one by one. But, but if you use this kind of the, uh, reference management tools, it makes it your, uh, your work very e easier. And don't forget, refreshing the style of the journal. 
you should download a style of the journal. For example, uh, if I have planning, I had planning to, for example, have planning to submit the journal of clinical production, I go, uh, there is a journal of clinical production and the end note, I write it end note. It give me the style specific for this kind of the journal. I uninstall it and I add it in the end note and I use it uh, in my uh, work for the reference. And don't use most of the time, uh, for example, personal communication and unpublished observation and some manuscript that not accepted yet for your uh, uh, references. And sometimes some uh, accepted articles only in the local. So it's so difficult for the uh, international to access and find those kind of the journals. Okay, after we address, for example, imagine that you have your paper now. You have a, your paper, you read everything, and you read the instruction of the journal, you, read the, uh, you find your journal, and your uh, article is fit with that journal. What is the process of publication? Today, I will tell you uh, the process of publication. I start with submission, submission initiative, with journal, after we said it to journal, editorial invited, with editor, reviewer invited, under review, here is the... Uh, is the, this sheet is show you uh, from this guy, and uh, it's show that when when you are starting to submit the paper, the basic requirement. What is that? If you meet it, if the editor see that, did you meet the basic requirement? Yes. If yes, they assign the, some reviewer for you. If no, without passing your paper to the journal, the editor will reject, and he he will bring the, some reason for you why they reject it. The most important thing, uh, check your uh, plagiarism and uh, be honest. And uh, because they are uh, checking that. Uh, one time I did one big mistake. I sent it to uh, one Elsevier journals. Uh, I, I didn't check my plagiarism. They, after I sent it to the editor, the one comment I received, he said that it has a lot of plagiarism. That's why I shame about myself, why I didn't check it. Okay, it definitely the editor rejected. Even I asked him, uh, do you give me a chance? I uh, update it and I revise it and again submit it. He didn't allow me. That's why it's effect on, on your uh, research. That's why uh, after if you basically meet the requirement, the reviewer will be invited by the editor. After reviewer invited, a reviewer can uh, review your work and give the recommendation. If you answer the recommendation, it's good. Most of the, it's, it's then my, uh, sometimes it's happened that if you have an excellent work, they, uh, they go uh, for the acceptance. But uh, sometimes uh, it's rare, and, but they give the, some minor correction. If your work is good, or sometimes it gave, give the major correction. If the major correction, they give it to you, you or may, minor correction, you can do the, this uh, co uh, correction and again submit it to the journal. Then the editor of the journal will make a decision based on the reviewer advice. Do they proceed your paper for the acceptance or for the rejection? Be because the, the most important thing, believe me, the most important thing, even most than writing the paper is address the comments of the reviewer and try to convince the reviewer. And this is the process uh, of the uh, publication. It means that after it go, is go directly for acceptance, if you address your comment and uh, the reviewer, the editor will be see that if you convince or no, otherwise they will reject it. Uh, that's why uh, if you receive some um, comments from the some uh, journals, from some reviewers, I mean, uh, don't reject that uh, their comments. That I'm I'm not agree with this comment. And if you have a, a strong uh, evidence to support your claim, you can put it. Otherwise, I advise you to address the reviewer comment and send to them because the reviewer com reviewer also have a. They have also contribute for the decision of your paper. Uh, before submission is so important. Everyone nowadays, and you know that, you should your, build your digital ID and profile. 
For example, Google Scholar, and sometimes the Orchid nowadays is so well known for all the, for example, the journals. When you are going to submit your paper and you uh, author, uh, you are as a corresponding author, your author or your co-author, they must have Orchid ID. That's why I try to go and uh, create this one uh, and also select the journal with Impact Factor. As I told you, it's Impact Factor is so important. And it shows that. And it's one of the metrics, honestly. One of the methods shows that the quality and, uh, and also uh, it shows that the, uh, the, what's that, the reputation of the journal. And you can also get uh, feedback from your colleague and uh, also from your peer uh, about uh, your uh, before your submission to the journal and avoid plagiarism, as I told you, it's so important. And there are a lot of software, one of them is Ternating. Uh, I see most of the university, they, uh, they support uh, this kind of thing. And even you can ask your supervisor for your Ternating account, or you can ask them to check the plagiarism and before you submitting the journal. And then one of the most important thing, as I told you, we are not native. It's better after you finalize your paper, send it to the native proofreader. They will read your paper and they will advise and uh, some changes and, uh, in your paper. And thereafter, you will send to the journal for the, uh, inshallah, it will be accepted. And before submission, uh, some journals, they ask you uh, that, for example, prepare short list of the potential, uh, potential reviewers. It's not good that we, we uh, put uh, some colleague or some friends or some researcher that we are collaborating with them, we suggest to a reviewer. It's better that we select neutral people, that they don't have, uh, we don't know him, but we uh, read what we, and we know about the reputation uh, and uh, they, uh, we appreciate their work and they are well known in our work. And we want, for example, to consider this kind of paper as our reviewer because we want to receive some good comment and good feedback from them to enhance our article. Make your taxonomy selection. Taxonomy selection is so important. For example, which category you want to submit it. And uh, also the submission checklist. There are some checklists for the submission that you should also prepare some checklist. And I will tell you what's that the checklist. And also you write the letter, some of the, is the compulsory. For example, you write the editor letter or cover letter for the editor. For example, this is the, some of the easiest example of the, for example, you can write your name from which affiliation, your university, your address, date, dear editor of the journal, this one, this is uh, this one. I, uh, for example, I have a new manuscript entitled this for considering by the journal. I confirm that this work is original and has not been published elsewhere, nor it is currently under consideration for publication elsewhere. You have, because you have to convince them. And this paper, uh, we report on the, this one, and you should hear you highlight it. Your work, for example, what is your uh, achievement here? Sometimes they put the abstract, but it's not good that you copy paste your abstract here. But you put your aim of the disease studies that, uh, uh, for example, the paper should be interested to reader in the area. Then uh, you can also hear, I didn't put, you can also hear, uh, you can give this, uh, give, uh, suggest some reviewer for the editor, and you will put, uh, if you are as a correspondent, Author, you put your email address here and then you thanks from them and you put your name at the final. This is we call it uh, editor letter or cover letter that uh, in the some Elizabeth journal, as I know, is compulsory that we write it for the editorial of the journal. And then before submission, you have a figures, you have a, for example highlights, and you highlight what did you do in your work, and they have a, uh, you they will put it in your even your. Uh, manuscript and you have your manuscript and you respond if you have a, your revision if you have a revision you have respond letter but you have a cover letter if you are submitting the affairs and some journals they are uh, asking for the uh, for example suggested reference as I told you you put your referee here and uh, you have a, they ask you for the separate figures and tables and you will have a you will put it here in the for example accepted for example the format JPG, GPG, uh, and any kind of the, the format a journal accepted, you prepare that one. And sometimes they consider a guess, supplementary document and they will add it. And through the online, you will see the supplementary document if when you are going to the uh, target paper. That's why uh, 
most important thing is you have a cover letter, you will have a, your manuscript, you will have a, your highlight and your title page. Sometimes the most important thing is that some Elsevier journals, uh, they are blind review. What's that? When you are preparing your manuscript, submit a journal, don't put your name and your affiliation here because the reviewer, they don't want that the reviewer know who you are that you are submitting this work to the journal. That's why you have to prepare the other work, we call it title page. In the title page, you put your name, the author's name, corresponding authors, the email, the affiliation, and you submit it to journal. That's why these are the elements that you should prepare before submission to the journal. And as I told you, for example, if any words, uh, this energy I'm building, for example, this is the one journal, they, they accept review article, short communication, full length article, invited review article. That's why you have to choose it here. What is your article type? If you do the systematic review or review paper, you consider as a good review, or you have a short communication, consider it in this part, or you have a full length article, it uh, comes with your data, with your analysis, you consider this one for the submission. As you can see, as I told you also, this is the, uh, this is the one part that we, uh, we detailed our reviewer, we suggest our reviewer. For example, this reviewer, and you should, have, you should have your reason why you select this reviewer. For example, I'm choosing the reviewer X because he is expert in the field of information system management, and he has uh, many articles published in this field. That's why um, it's not, it's, it doesn't mean that if you suggest your reviewer, uh, definitely the journal editor, they will select this reviewer. No, maybe accidentally they will see that they don't have a, any collaboration with them, you are not colleague and something like that. They will assign this reviewer. It's also happening sometimes. So, and also it's helped their editor uh, that proceed your work faster. Sometimes if you suggest some reviewer. And uh, if you don't know how you find the reviewer, it is better and easily find the reviewer from the uh, contact detail from the article. Because when you are reading the article, the email address of the corresponding author and even the author's name, if you Google it, you will see the detail of the authors and even it's included in the paper. You can select them and suggest them as a reviewer. After submission, you have to be patient. Sometimes you said, uh, for example, I submit one paper from January, I will show you. Now is under the decision. They didn't do any decision for one month or two months. I'm waiting. Either they accept or reject, but waiting for that one. That's why you have to be patient, okay? Because the pro process, it takes two or three months. They assign reviewer and go to review. And after you submit it, you will see that the submission initiated immediately, they show that. And even the editor uh, is assigned the editor. They will, uh, the status is with editor. Then other, if editor agree with your publication, I mean, to your paper, they assign the reviewer and they invite the reviewer to review your article and your status will change to under review. And then if they do the review, uh, they give you, the reviewer give you uh, their comments, you address the comments and you submit it to the journal. Again, the ready for this is, uh, is uh, Change, the status will change for ready for decision. As I told you, maybe accept or reject in the final uh, version, final revision, uh, I mean the first revision. Sometimes it's happened, to, it's happened that it's come for the second revision or sometimes third revision. If you address all the, all the given comments by the reviewer if, and you try to convince them, your paper go to the acceptance. After accept your paper, go to the production. There is a one stage we call it authorship right requested, then end and print. And this one is leave accepted. If rejected, revision requested. You have to revise your paper and you submit your revision. And sometimes it's happened. You ask to editor to transfer your 
article to other journal. And sometimes it's the nice reviewer, uh, sorry, nice editor. They uh, suggest you to, for example, suggest, it, uh, suggest you to uh, submit this paper to this kind of journal. Because they said that your, we read your topic, this one, this one, I think that your article is proper to this journal. It will be suggested uh, from the editor in the nice behavior from them, or even you can ask from them to transfer your article to other journals. And as I tell you, it is rarely happen that you write a paper and immediately they ask, accept, as I mentioned here. Very, very rare, okay? If it's happened, congratulations for you. And now we, you will wait for the proof of your paper, paper and then you will see that it will be online and for the uh, print. And sometimes it's reject. Probably 40 to 90% of this happened for us. For example, when my, also I'm writing the paper, most of the time not accepted. Some of them they accept, some of them reject. Most of the time they give the comment, really tough comment, but you have to address it. As I told you, it's not uh, seem, uh, it's uh, not sound the easy way to publish the article. But if you, if you meet some criteria, definitely your paper uh, will be uh, accepted. And, as, and also I hear here, if your paper was rejected, uh, you can take an advantage. What's the advantage? You will see the reviewer comments, you can enhance your article, and you can submit it to the another journal. And it's better sometimes, as I told you, share your paper with your friend, with your colleague, and the, your uh, co-researcher. It's not individual work. It's not good yet to individually sit and do your work. Everyone has their thinking, their mind, their perspective, especially for the writing the paper. Okay, I received the first decision is the revision. No problem. Is most of the time it's happened. I'm mad. What shall I do? What's the topic? The reviewer don't know. The reviewer that one no no. The reviewers have uh, the reviewers have their own uh, actually the idea. There is something that uh, that they decide to revise your work. Maybe they see something behind of your research we cannot see. That's why it's better that you carefully study uh, the comments that given by the uh, by the reviewer and details it. I will show you, for example, in my work how I. Uh, revise my work. For example, this is the uh, one of the uh, revision I first received from the um, editor. They said, dear Dr. Holland, thank you for considering journal of this. Please see the comment of the reviewer on the article, something like this. And they give me the 23 of the November to revise version of your submission. And already it's passed. And this is the one also point. If you uh, pass uh, the date, you can ask uh, from the editor to extend and give them more time that you can address the comments. Also, you receive this email from the editor, okay? Then, beside of that, they give me a lot of comments. Okay, for example, this is one of the reviewers, they say. And one more thing, one point, I want to say uh, something more. During the COVID-19, unfortunately, for example, after you publish your paper in January, for, sorry, sorry, submit your paper in January, and they give the some, uh, for example, the uh, revision, they give it on March. Because of this COVID-19, unfortunately, they cannot again assign your work from the, that reviewer. I don't know why. And the process of the uh, publication uh, now is so slow. For example, I have this experience that I'm sharing with you. I submit my, uh, my paper uh, to the one journal. They give me the, some comments. I have tried to address the comments and I return it to the journal, submit it to the journal. Again, they review. I was so, um, I was hopefully, okay, uh, happy that uh, my work will go for the publication. But suddenly they assign. For seven reviewers, they give seven reviewers, everyone give the, uh, the new, you know, the new idea. Don't disappoint them. this part. It's okay, no problem, I will do again. Because if the journal give you revision, this is good point. What's that? Why that? Because if you get a revision, revision from the journal, it means that your, your work has a potential to publish in that kind of journal. But you have to carefully, carefully, very carefully, accurately, 
address the comment of the reviewer. For example, this is one of the comments I received from the reviewer. In this paper, the author presented detailed study about factors impacting the consumer attitudes electronic vehicles. Although the topic is interesting, this manuscript should be revised carefully before potential production in the journal. The following comments should be addressed. One, two, three, four, you can see, look. One by one, one by one, I have to highlight it after I address it, I highlight it. Do I address the reviewer comments or not? Then I prepare, for example, this kind of thing, okay? I said we greatly appreciate the reviewer effort because well, it is the polite way that you also appreciate the reviewer because you know that they don't uh, receive any money because uh, they do this reviewer and because the reviewer also needs a lot of review the paper, needs a lot of effort that they do it and they are doing the best uh, to review your work and give you the feedback. And it's good that you politely appreciate, appreciate from them and then go one by one. For example, detailed comment for the reviewer one. Uh, for example, this one he said, I think the paper shouldn't start with calling its model as a novel. As I told you, look, I, I put it in the, my introduction abstract part as a novel. And this is the, one of the tangents what I use it and I, uh, I said, yeah, we do agree with this comment. Uh, based on reviewer suggestion, the author revised abstract. For example, thank you for this comment. This below color is the comment from the reviewer. And this is my response. Thank you for this comment. Thank you for insightful comment. We agree with this and rewrite the sentence even, even honestly. Sometimes uh, with some uh, correct, correction comments, I'm not agree. But you have to, if you want to, don't lose your chance. You have to find the way to convince them or address the reviewer comments. And sometimes, uh, and also it's better that you have two versions. For example, first version, you should have, a, for example, it has a number in here. You should mention in your comments, in the line number 30, uh, 32, for example, I revise it like this. It's better that you have a one uh, word file, including your revision, okay? And you will see, uh, you will tell that, uh, you will name it as a manuscript or uh, the revised, also revised manuscript. And you also, you, you uh, also, after you address, uh, you can also have a clean manuscript. You will put the word file, the name with the clean manuscript and submit it to the journal. And they will see that which line, which color, and it's better sometimes you highlight it and which line you address the reviewer comment. And, uh, and here is also some example. Oh, for example, I, after I submitted, they say that I, I think the version of the paper can be accepted. Again, they say that all the suggestions given by reviewer have been uh, incorporated, uh, incorporated. Now, paper can be accepted in this form. And finally, I go for acceptance of the, this journal. It takes time, yes, even for writing the comments, addressing the reviewer comments, um, uh, it takes two or three weeks. But as I told you, this is not individual work. You should have a collaboration and try to divide the task and read the each part and address all the reviewer comments together, not individually. And this is the sample of the decision, as I told you, in process. For example, they give me the acceptance. I didn't have the acceptance when I show you. For example, I have it now. Uh, they said the decision I submitted. Then they give the current status. They, they change it to the acceptance. As I told you, after acceptance, they have also some part they have to do with the journals and for the production and the for the online of your work. Uh, so what led to acceptance? Uh, the most important thing that attention to details, what you are writing, each part, you should be careful. As I told you, when I explained abstract, this one is important. I told you conclusion is important, discussion is important. Yes, all part of the article is important. If you have planning to top tier ranking journal, I recommend you really uh, be careful about the writing and what you are going to address about your problem, how you want to address, what is the suggested solution, why this solution is this. And you should address all of them and cover all of them carefully in the paper. Not difficult task and also not so easy task. Just if you can publish toward one, two, three or the top tier ranking journal, 
The rest, it will be easy because you will understand. You will be expert how to write a good article. And the acceptance here is means that attention to detail. Check and double check your work. As I told you, ask your colleague, your supervisor, or your experienced researcher uh, to check your work. Consider the reviewer comment. Very important point. Most important point in this part. Carefully address the reviewer comment. Don't neglect easily. Okay, I don't want to address this one. Maybe they don't understand. No, no, no. They carefully check one by one. If you couldn't address it and if you don't come with the, uh, the reviewer comment, uh, they are not happy for that one. That's why it will affect the decision of the editor for the acceptance or rejection of your work. English must be as good as possible. As I told, we are not native. That's why it's better. We use the, some services, and there are Elsevier proofreading, and also there are a lot of native proofreaders. You can ask them, you can use from their services, and for proofread your work for, the, uh, for better uh, to accept it the journal. Presentation is important. Yes, very important. You should present your work very well, and each part as I told you carefully, and you should precisely and uh, try to convince readers. Don't forget all the readers are the authors. That's why uh, to, uh, take time, take your time with revision. Yes. Sometimes, as I show you, the uh, my last day for the submission was 23rd of the November, but I couldn't address all. That's why I asked the reviewer, give me more time. So because it takes time. It's not easy just one day or two days. I just address this part, I just address that. No, 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 you should carefully address all of all the comments. Acknowledge those who help you, have helped you. Yes, this is correct. If some university found you, support you, so you have some founder, if you appreciate someone, for example, some person, okay, put it here, new, original, and previously unpublished, yes, yeah, this is so important, that you should have an original manuscript and original idea, and not, for example, the published uh, and the uh, published before, previously. Critically evaluate your own manuscript, yes. Why? Because if your aim is for top ranking journals, if your aim is for high impact journals, it's advised that you check your manuscript. You will see the quality of your, your paper. Compare it with the quality of the published uh, articles in the targeted journal. Do my paper, uh, do as my paper, paper is the, in the, uh, say similar to the previous published work, if yes, uh, can I address, for example, the, uh, do I explain the methodology well, same as the published article? If yes, you can proceed it. Otherwise, it takes time. You, will, uh, you have to, to resubmission, you have to do re reform, uh, rewriting, and uh, you have to waste your time, uh, most of the time, just for publishing, the, uh, to sending the high journal, high impact journal. That's why before you submit your work to the top tier journal, try to evaluate your work yourself. And the, one of the best way is that, as I told you, try to compare it with the published article in the target journal. And the last one, ethical rules, as I repeated, and as I tell most of the time, is very important. Don't, for example, plagiarism, don't have a plagiarism, and this is not ethical way, and don't copy and paste other people's work. And this is the last one, and hope that all of you go uh, for the publication in the top tier ranking journal. And these are the references that I use it for how you can publish in top tier ranking journal. Thank you for all of you. I really appreciate for your uh, attending this online webinar to how you can conduct the, uh, how you can conduct your work and to publish successfully in high impact journal. If you have any question, I am ready here to answer you. Thank you again for the organizer, uh, organizer of the, this uh, uh, webinar. And again, I really appreciate for the Dean, Deputy Dean and Chairperson uh, Prof. Jamaya and all the organizer, organizer 
Madam Masura, Madam Aziati, and I, I'm sorry if I forget some names and all the organizers for this uh, webinar. Yes, some of you ask me, okay, uh, can we have a, a slide? Yes, definitely. I will show, uh, uh, I will share my slide with you. You can uh, have a, my, uh, you can have a, my slides. And uh, let me see. You tell me, can we get the uh, slides? Yes, I told you from my side, I don't have any issue. You can get my uh, slides and you can see that. Yeah, yeah, one of the participant mentioned that great poem read a lot to prov provide input to good manuscript preparation. Yes, this is the true because the good manuscript come from the good reading. You should read a lot if you have planning to uh, submit to the good uh, journal. Uh, Dr. Sahla. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, there, there is a question there uh, from uh, Majid Shakir. Uh, he asked question, uh, could you please explain where always we get the gap problem? I mean, oh. when, when I need to read some articles. And second question is, what is the best uh, number of uh, papers reading for an article? Yeah, uh, he asked me how we can get, uh, for example, for a gap, uh, the most important thing, uh, that's why I recommend you, you read the whole the paper. When you read the paper, some of them, they put the future research. You can understand the one of the gap. And beside of that, if you read, uh, if you do this systematic review, you will understand that some gaps is still in this topic that previous researcher didn't address that one that you can easily uh, extract it. Because if you go through the each, uh, for example, research question and objective of that paper, you will see that what was the question, what was the research question, uh, the, and what was the, their objective, and what was the limitation of the journal. Most of the journal, definitely they have some limitation, they did an address, and for example, uh, in terms of the generalizability, you can go, go through this one and find the gaps in the journal. And even that, um, one of the best ways is to go to the review paper. If you do the review paper to that research topic, you will uh, get the gap. And what is the best way you ask to optimize reading for any paper or article? I mean, which part is important? As I told you, for the article, the most important part for me, if I want to go for review, I'm talking about review paper, I go through the abstract and the discussion part. And even though for the some, uh, for example, uh, the full paper, if I have planning to go for the full article, also I read the abstract carefully. I want to know what was the, the objective, what was the problem, which theory they use. You know, it depends on your objective of your work. And you will, uh, you will see that which your papers are relevant to your work and which one is irrelevant to your work. That's why, from my uh, point of view, the abstract and the uh, conclusion part and discussion part is very important uh, to uh, see that this paper is relevant to your work or not. Okay, uh, another question, yeah, maybe I just read the, the question, yeah, Dr. Salah. Uh, yeah. uh, there, there is one comment yeah, from uh, Farhana. She said that uh, usually the top ranking journals require high fees. So what's your comment? High fees? Yeah, high fees. Uh, no, some of the journals, for example, uh, I have experience to publish in the, um, some journals such as Resource Conservationists. 
recycling is considered as a top 10% journal. And also the Journal of Clean Production, I have four published paper here because as I told you, my field is mostly in the green technology sustainability and this kind of thing. That's why uh, no, no fees even for this one because you can choose either paid journal or unpaid journal. Unpaid journal, as I told you, they are not faster as a paid journal. For example, you can send to the some uh, IEEE access journal and some IEEE e journals. They accept fee and even they charge you uh, if you have a, a more than the limit, uh, for example, word count, and uh, you have to pay. No, no, it doesn't mean that if it's the top uh, tier ranking journal, you have to pay. No, but this kind of journal also they have an option for open access. It means that you can, uh, you know, that uh, those that uh, subscribe for the, those universities that subscribe for Elsevier, they can access for the, this kind of journal. For but for others, it's too difficult. So if you would like, after your paper is accepted, you can uh, choose the open access option. This is optional. But uh, no, for me, uh, as I have this experience, some journals uh, also is unpaid and also is a top tier ranked journal. I think in the UK and, uh, website, uh, in our faculty website, uh, also is listed the number of top tier ranking journal, top, top, top 10 percent, even 1 percent journal. They are some of them, most of them is without fee, without, without fees, and you can select uh, that journal. And even as I told you, check it uh, through the through the each web page of the journal. You go through it, and you will see that do they uh, want, uh, for example, fees for the publication or no? It's not compulsory all the time. You go for the uh, publication with fees. Yeah. Um, so, uh, in other words, that there are many others. Uh, top ranking uh, journal, which is unpaid, right, Dr. Shala? Yes, but you have to be patient, yeah, you have to be patient and you have to plan your planning because it will take maybe one year or one and a half year uh, to publish. But one more thing, Bruno. there is a one thing is that some of them, they, they are not, they said we are not patient, we cannot wait for, uh, for example, seven months or eight months. Uh, I suggest you, because I am also a junior, and uh, the earliest stage of the, my career. That's why, based on my experience, I would like to recommend you, is the best, best way is that you sharing, you collaborating, because is, if you collaborate, you are not publish one paper, you will publish four or five papers. That's why you are not sitting for the result of the one paper that you have submitted. It's better that you submit several papers, if you have a collaboration with your colleague, and if you have a collaboration with your senior researcher, definitely, even from the outside of your institution, it's better from the outside of your country. For, for example, the uh, UK, Ireland, many other countries, if you have a, any friend, even you can go sometimes ask from the, some person that is, uh, for example, you appreciate them, but they are in your field. You write your paper and you send to them and ask them, please give your advice and you will consider their name to your article. And even sometimes the good reput reputation, uh, reputed person, for example, in the field or in the science, it's effect uh, to the, for example, your paper. This is the uh, true thing that we cannot neglect this one. And uh, uh, because the editor, as I told you, when you are creating your Google Scholar, they are go and check your Google Scholar and he, they will see that uh, how you are, uh, for example, actively publish paper and collaborate with the others. That's why if you put the other co-authors that, uh, for example, is strong enough in your field, I recommend you uh, you uh, work with them and not just uh, uh, focusing in one paper. Try in the year, publish six, five or seven paper you can. That's why I'm, teaching, I'm telling that the sharing is caring, not individual work. We have to collaborate with other researchers. Otherwise, it's difficult for one person to write in paper, address all the comments, and send it, revise it, because it has a lot of tasks. Yeah, it's a very interesting approach to share uh, with uh, our friends, our, our colleagues uh, from, uh, from, from the same country, Malaysia, and also from other countries overseas. Yeah, it's a very uh, good approach nowadays where to collaborate.
uh, in terms of research and also in terms of paper, uh, paper publications. Right, Doctor? So uh, maybe I, I read one or two more. Is it okay, Doctor Shala? Yes, yes, one or two. Yeah, uh, maybe one or two more uh, questions from the chat uh, group. So uh, another question is from uh, Miss Zulaiha Zaina. She asked you, Doctor, in your opinion, do certain areas in computing or IT domain are easier for uh, or have more chances to be accepted compared uh, in the uh, in the Q1 and Q2 agenda compared to other uh, and other areas? Uh, some 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 believe that uh, certain uh, area difficult to be published in Q1 Q2 general compared to other other uh, research area. So, what's your comment in that aspect? Uh, actually, uh, based on my experience, maybe uh, there uh, everyone they have their own perspective and their experience. Based on my experience, Q1 and Q3, honestly, in the some journals. Uh, they are so critical for that one. They uh, they care, for example, too much about your way of the writing and addressing your paper. But yes, for example, it depends. For example, the some journal maybe uh, they are so tough for the publication, and some journal a little bit they are uh, easier than for the publish. It happens sometimes because the ranking ranking system for the journals also even different country by country. For example, in my field, if I have planning to go, for example, Australia, they have the ranking system different than this one. For example, I have published one paper, I don't want the name of the journal, it's not good, is the Q1. But in their ranking system, because they have an A, B, D, C journal ranking system for the business school and our field as well, they consider as a C. But in the uh, journal, for example, in the uh, itself, it's the Q1. That's why uh, you have to select the target uh, and the good journal for the publication. Uh, but most of the time, honestly, if you have going to for publish Q1 and Q2, is uh, I cannot say is easy for this kind of the uh, journal, they accept easily your work. No, because it needs a lot of effort. If you check even your, uh, for example, the, your system and your uh, downloaded article, you will see that the, all the authors did a lot of effort. Otherwise, for example, uh, uh, open access journal, yes. But unpaid journal, uh, they not easily accept. All the you know, uh, uh, daily thousands of the manuscript they receive from the uh, authors from the, around the world, and it's not easy they accept also. But some journals, for the beginning, for example, for the beginning, if you have planning to publish in some journals, Q1 and Q2, yes, uh, open access journals, some journals is not so tough. I don't want to name it here, but some journal is that some publisher is easier than. But Elsevier, Springer, Emerald, and this kind of journal definitely is so, they are so uh, restrict for the publication. That's why uh, uh, it's not easy. I mean, based on my experience, maybe others, they have experience for the publication, they can easily publish, I don't know. But it's need a lot of effort. Okay, so uh, in other words, if you would like to know more about journals, maybe you can communicate uh, privately with Dr. Shahla and ask her about her experience in, uh, in other journals that is that might be easy to, to be published. Right, Dr. Shahla? Okay, another uh, question. Uh, maybe uh, that from Mr. Ahmad Sabri, Sadi. Uh, he asked you um, uh, uh, your comment about uh, where, when we depend on uh, writing uh, uh, a conference paper and then maybe uh, uh, if uh, if you want to update to this conference paper to the journal is it yeah. okay yeah it's happened uh, mr dr ahmad or dr ahmad right uh, ahmad sabri yeah dr ahmad sabri is possible if you check my google scholar first uh, where you are uh, you are area you are new in the area for example i published in the conference paper in my work was uh, green it because i don't know the area very well 
you are a new in the area. That's why I went to the conferences, but I didn't have it. Uh, I mean, the data and my analysis didn't publish it. And my model also, even my theory model also has changed. But uh, later on, after I increased my knowledge regarding the, uh, the, that subject, uh, I shifted to the, as I told you, to one of the top 10% top, uh, top journal. I published it there. Yes, uh, is it good? Yeah, I support this one. It's better if you don't have, uh, for example, the enough uh, knowledge about that uh, subject. Is better you go for conference paper or highly I recommend. Most of the time I say that even for mine I'm doing. If uh, even you have a ten published paper in SLR systematic review, again you go for that one. I mean, you do review paper because when you're reviewing some paper, you can uh, enhance and you broader your knowledge about that topic and you will see what's happening inside of that one. For example, uh, I'm doing the one, for example, topic, one of them, they use the machine learning. I targeted this kind of journal. Oh, this topic, they are using the machine learning technique. The another one used the quantitative work. Oh, they are using the some factors. That's why I will understood that this, this topic is broad and you will get a lot of idea. That's why beside of the conference, conference is absolutely right. You can go there and present there and feedback, you get feedback from them, but you can also go for review paper. Okay, uh, Dr. Shala, maybe this will be the last question. Yeah, a very easy and straightforward question, I think. Uh, the question from Payal. Uh, uh, Payal asks, uh, can, can we put images from Google in review paper? Do they subject it to any issues? Uh, for everything that you have, if you put it in any image, you should have a source, first of all. Even for conducting the simple thing, you should have your references, you should have your uh, sources. But I recommend you, even you have an, uh, access to the picture from the, for example, if it's, you, it's the draw bag, you can draw it easily, you can draw yourself. But otherwise, if you are downloading any web page, any, any web page or any website, you should reference it in your work. Yeah, okay. I think that that's all the questions that I can uh, uh, retrieve from the, the chat group. So uh, uh, do, you, do you want to conclude our session, Dr. Salah? Uh, just I want to say uh, thanks for all of you and especially from you, Prof. Jamaya, you give me chance that I share my idea. I really apologize if I have a, uh, some mistake in my, for example, in the presentation or uh, even if we had a uh, uh, problem in the beginning, I really apologize from all of you, but we are here in the... Uh, we are the early researcher in that we are in the early career. We can collaborate each other. This is the last thing. Sharing is caring. Please uh, collaborate to other colleague and the other researcher and for the publication, not just publication, a lot of things, grant and a lot of things. Thank you. Thank you for all of you. All Thank right. you. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Shala. And I got uh, received uh, uh, many comments from the uh, from the view, uh, viewers, from the participants uh, in the webinar, saying that your your presentations are very helpful, very informative. Uh, congratulations and thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you very much also for everybody for all the participants that joined us today. And uh, so this will be the, the end of our sessions. Uh, if you have any question, I think you can uh, communicate directly to Mr. Uh, to Ms. Uh, Dr. Sahla Asadi, uh, or can communicate uh, with our organizer. Uh, and uh, about the slide, uh, I think uh, we will uh, share the link later on so that everybody can share, uh, can view the slide together with the YouTube of this uh, video. So uh, with that, I would like to end uh, and I will say thank you to everyone and goodbye. Thank and you, please join us again next time. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you.